to the Borneo Talk Show. I'm Ashley Pan, your host for this show. Today we have a very special guest. She's tall, beautiful, the talk of the town right now, and she's a huge women empowerment advocate. Let's welcome our very own Miss Universe Malaysia 2020, Francisca Luhong James. Good, 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 yeah. With your busy, busy schedule, mm -hmm. I'm so glad that you can come chit chat with me. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, I make time for all that I can, you know. Of course, <laughs> I would love to, you know, um, see my fellow Sarawak kids as well, mm -hmm. and then I get this opportunity, and I yeah. thought, like, why not? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. And with your tight schedule, are you getting enough beauty sleep? Um, I would say I have enough sleep. Yeah. Beauty sleep is a bit, you know, yeah. not really. So yeah. after I get crowned, you know, I'm yeah. too busy with media week, mm. and also I have, you know, few talk shows and also interviews mm. with the medias and and other, other sort of TV programs. So I thought, you know, I'm enjoying the journey, you know, yeah. trying to immerse, trying to sink in, you know, as a Miss Universe. Yeah. Miss, yeah, it's just. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know, it's so surreal, it is, it but is. slowly I kind of get used to it mm -hmm. because, you know, every day the media will say, okay, tell me about yourself, uh, yeah. tell us about yourself, you know, so I'll be like, oh, well, my name is Francis Kalong James, <laughs> I'm Miss Universe Malaysia, yeah. you know, I'm not finalist anymore, so I'm kind of yeah, like sinking in, you know, know. it's so amazing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You really deserve it. I think the, I still remember the last time when we spoke. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we were just reminiscing about you know all the journey that you've yeah, been through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really, really proud of you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good. But you still look really, really good. Oh, your, thank you so your skin much. Yeah. is so good. I try. I try. I really try. You know. <laughs> Hopefully, I still look fresh on camera. Yes. But you look raging too as well. Thank morning. you. Yeah. Uh, I I also try. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I actually use this lotion. Mm -hmm to make sure my skin you know, is moisture mm -hmm. okay. and then also that the, it's smooth, mm -hmm. soft Oh, that yeah, looks nice, yeah, it. Nature Sarah I Actually, it sounds familiar, I heard of it It's from flowering based in yes, yes, Sarawak, right? Yes, it is, it yeah. is, it is okay. It has flowering plants mm -hmm. So that's what ama what's so amazing about it mm -hmm. They actually use, you know, all our local plants here yeah. you know, They have different, different type of scents There's mm -hmm. magnolia, oh, canaria okay. But in fact, yeah. this is my favorite okay. It's Belina Oh, Belina Yeah So what is Belina? Belina? So Belina is actually our state flower Oh, yeah. oh the orchid okay. yes, yes, it's uh, a super beautiful unicorn okay. <laughs> Let me try it on you I, I need this actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good. I'm gonna put on some myself as well. Oh wow! It's it felt. Can you smell the yeah, yeah, yeah. But it smells refreshing. Yeah, huh? it's very floral. Yeah, yeah I love it. it. Yeah, yeah. Mm, so good. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah. I think I might want to get one for yeah. myself. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because I use this all the time. I put it in my handbag as well. Yeah, easy so, to carry. Yeah, it's so you small. know, yeah, and, like light. So if you go well. meeting or you meet people, you know, you, you know, sometimes when date, you eat, and then like, <laughs> and then you can, yeah. <laughs> So a lot of people don't know this, mm -hmm. but I actually went to St. Mary's school. Mm. <laughs> you know, I wanted to know, like, what were you like in school? Well, if you want to ask me, you know, in St. Mary's, I'm not really, you know, the it girl in school, you see? So I was more of like the shy girl, like oh, very timid. Really? Yeah, so when I was in school, yeah. I'm more active on like co-curricular activities. Yeah. I did like handball. Yeah. Oh, so it's sport. Yeah, a bit yeah. sporty. But more active. to, um, how to say, uh, we call it like badan uniform. Yeah. <laughs> so I was uh, a girl scout. So you know, I always get under the sun, you know, mm. marching and yes, all that. Yes. And I have this very tan skin. I used to have a very tan skin and I was so skinny back then. So I don't really have a lot of friends, you see. Um, so when I joined pageant, yeah. all of the teachers in St. Mary's were so surprised. They were so shocked. <laughs> they were like, Francesca joining beauty pageant, mm. you know, they would have taught other girls. Of course, there are girls from my school joined beauty mm. pageant, yeah. but not me. Oh. I'm well known as the tall girl. Yeah. And I have, you know, a few different names and I yeah. got picked out in school. You know, I don't really have a lot of friends. But, you know, it kind of 
changed me you know after joining pageant i kind of built my self-confidence you know mm. self-esteem that, that, i can really yeah. see that like so um the only friends that i'm still mm. keeping in touch with from high school is two of my very close friends like best friend which is Vanessa and Olivia. Oh. Yeah, so only these two yeah. that I still keep in touch with. And also, actually, another one, you know, Sasha Minkan. <laughs> so, you know, comparing to you then mm. and now, what would you tell yourself? I mean, you know, when I, I look back to my, my high school journey, mm. you know, my childhood, yeah. I would love to tell myself, you know, don't be too worried, don't be too That's serious, mm. you know, like, there's so much thing um, that life has you know, will offer to you in the future. That's true. You know, don't be too too down on yourself. Don't doubt yourself, mm, you know. Mm. When I think back of how I was before, I feel like, oh my gosh, because you know? It's true. Because like, now you've gone through yeah, it. Yeah, and then I, I told myself, you know, if only last time I know that, you know, I will do well, yeah. you know, I, I wouldn't like, like feel bad or be in the room and, mm. and think so much you know yeah, and you so i went through, yeah so because i went through a lot mm. like hard times yeah. in high school i kind of trying to survive so that's mm. why i don't really like to think about it. Oh. yeah but i kind of um mm. enjoyed my high school towards yeah. the end yeah. and when in form six only in yeah. form six i kind of feel like okay i have more friends and um, there are people more genuinely want to mm. be friends with me, you know, things like that. I feel like genuinity is yeah. always the key, right? Yeah, like friendships. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's really good to hear. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a long journey, yeah. but a very worthwhile. Yeah, right? and it's mm. like, it, it kind of builds your character. Correct, correct. Yeah. I swear to learn. You know, 2020 has been a very strange year, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah, very strange. Very, I mean, to say wasted, no, but you know, very strange in a way. Correct. Yeah, yeah it is. Because, you know, we were all cooped up at home during lockdown. And then while you were in the midst of preparing for Miss Universe Malaysia, like, how was that for you? You were in KL, right? Yeah, I, I, I got stuck in KL actually. But of course, I was in KL because I work in KL. Yeah. So um, when, you know, MCO happened, mm. you know, it was like a rushing thing for my preparation during the MCO, you know, mm. it's a bit hard because we can't really go out, you know, we can't yeah. meet people, we can't have training class and all that, so I stuck at home. Of course, for the first two weeks, mm. I kind of feel like, like, depressed. Correct, because you know? yeah. you're just cooped at home, yeah, you know, so you're not even doing anything. at home, you can't do anything, yeah. but then... You know, like everything you do, also much of the siap the habis. It's true. You know, like I wash <laughs> the house and yeah. I oh, even cleaning. Yeah, cleaning and I cook and all. Mm. So I kind of, you know, at that time, you know, I kind of feel like okay, this is my time to rest because mm. I think mm. after this I will not have enough rest. It's true. And sure and it is. <laughs> yes. So I have enough rest. Yeah, I yeah. have enough rest at uh, that time. But of course, right now it's like overwork. Mm. Because after winning Miss yes. Universe Mix, there's a lot of preparation and media yes. weeks and all. Yeah. So yeah, in terms of preparation, I mean, there's nothing much that we can do. Mm -hmm. But um, we have done a lot through social media. I tried my best. You yes, know, I've been keeping up with you. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. It was really good. Yeah, but so far, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But you must miss your family a lot. I miss my family a lot. So we did video calls a couple of times, oh, you know, and then they are also so very... Hype on the yeah. self at home, you know, mm. cooking, barbecue, <laughs> yeah. la, oh, yes. the house, la, you know, barbecue the, always. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. So, uh, we had, you know, I had my own mini time cooking mm -hmm. at, at my cousin's house, yeah. but they had like their own lavish, really? but among themselves. Like, so, what, what dishes do you make? Or what, what are your favorite dishes? Um, I would say my favorite dish is, of course, local food in Sarawak. I love, okay. okay. The other day, I saw this asam terong. So you know asam yes, terong. That's my favorite. Asam terong. <laughs> yes, round. It's by the yeah. Iban you know, this makan right. So yeah. I bought the asam terong right away. Ooh. If you if you saw Gabby's Gabriel Padan's yeah. IG, he actually recorded me <laughs> the asam terong yeah in, at Samarahan. Mm -hmm. So I love asam terong. 
and then umay, my favorite mm. all the time. I will make umay, yes. and then ayam panso. Oh yes, all of Ubi, ubi tuto. You know how they eat masa. Oh, yes. oh my god, it's the best. Mm. So that's my favorite food. Yeah. If people okay. ask me and I try to explain in Sunanjo. It's a bit different because they don't really understand. Because it's a really yeah, yeah. local food. But when I explain, they're like, wow, interested. Yeah, come to Sarawak, I'll bring you yes. to, you know. <laughs> it's true, yeah. it's true. Mm, that's really great. You know, I really want to know, growing up, were you mommy's girl or daddy's girl? I would say both, <laughs> okay. you know, in a way. Um, but of course, everything that I share with, mm. it will be my mom. So yeah. even when I joined Miss Universe Malaysia, no one knows about it except for my mom. Yes, the only, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mentioned it media a few yeah. times, you know, so when I go for audition, the only person who knows is my mom. Oh. Yeah, because how to say, you know, you don't want to put high expectation it's on true. people. It's true. I joined before and I didn't really, yeah. you know, win the title, but I got into like runner ups. Yes. So this time I joined, I told my mom, should I join? And she said, if this is like your goals that mm. you want to achieve, then go for it. But yeah. make sure this time you do it wholeheartedly. Yeah. Because you don't want to like, be, for example, for example, like my mom said, if you don't win, then I don't want you to be like how you were back in mm -hmm. those years mm -hmm. where you, you'll be like, oh, I should have done this. I should have done it there. Yes. So this time when I joined, I really give go my all whole out. heart. Yeah, all, yeah. Out. all out. So like I invest, you know, I really manage my time and I didn't have enough sleep. You know, mm -hmm. all the hard work really pays off. So. Yes. I mean, if people ask me, you know, if you want to join pageant, can you advise what what should we do? I said, you know, go wholeheartedly. Mm. Don't alang alang alang. Yeah, you know, like, I feel like that that should be actually a motto in everything we yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, like, true. Really go full heart yeah. and right, in all the things that yeah. we do. Exactly. So yeah. I, I mean, I'm more to mom, but I'm also daddy's That's little girl. Yeah, of course, always I'm the only princess. girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yes. the only girl in the family. So there's three of us: me and my two little mm. brothers. Um, I'm the only girl, the mm. eldest. So when I, you know, further my study in Malacca, yeah. also my parents are so worried. Of course. Yeah, but of course, my dad is so. Um, overprotective and all, so I'm I think all dads are like my dad is super protective yeah, as well, right? Because yeah. we're like little girls, True. like to them forever yeah. with the little girls. So what, you know, what else do you do you, that your parents have impacted with, on you on your life? I would say like you know a lot of people they don't really believe in me slowly. The thing is, I can be a fast learner, but at the same time, you know, it takes time for me. To of adapt. Course. So in terms of like, for if you ask me about impact, it would be like my parents didn't give up on me because mm. everyone told me to quit, you know, not to really? do pageant anymore. Oh, like no. not everyone, but most of no, like, people. In, like because of your past uh, yes, history. experience, oh, really and like I think you should focus on modeling because you're tall and you're not like pageant look, you know. Mm. But then I said to myself like I want to join because. I don't want to just represent Malaysia, just sending another beautiful face. Mm. But why don't we give some That's essence, true, yeah, true, some essence true. of Malaysia yes. to the universe stage, you know? Mm. So I told myself if I have the chance to win, I will go all out again, you know? So it's not just going to stop mm. at Miss Universe yes. Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's supposed to be, you know, your everyday thing where you do. Yeah, it's not yeah, just yeah. about the crown. Yeah, true. You know, but aiming high. And yeah, you did. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> and that's what it's all about, man. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So my parents impact me in the in in those sense, yeah. la, Like yes. they tell me, if that's what you believe, go for it. They mm. never stop me yes. from doing what I want. But of course, if it's against principles, yes, you know, yeah, they always no, know best, yeah. right? But yes. like even I further my study, they said, okay, you want to do public relations or you want to do anything to do with mass communication, mm. go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you know how we're all we were all locked down. Did you miss traveling a lot? Um, I love to travel. Me, I'm a very independent girl. I'm not gonna lie. So <laughs> if I go I travel, yeah, that. if I go travel, mm -hmm. I need to have money on my own. Yeah. <laughs> so it's more of like um, I love traveling. I love to see people travel and all. I would love to, but I don't really travel a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've, I've been to Asia countries only. I've never been, you know. Further yeah. then, yeah. so um, you know, winning Miss Universe Malaysia, it will be an opportunity for me so to experience that, to experience well. that as well. So yeah, cool. yeah. It's an so thank God for that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love traveling, and um, I mean, since I don't really travel out of Malaysia, mm -hmm. so it's more of like me traveling in mm -hmm. my own state in yeah. in Malaysia. You know, 
um, in my own country as well. So why I said state is because I'm from Sarawak. Sarawak, of course. So what most, do you miss? Yeah. Here? So most of the time I travel in Sarawak, where we mm. always like go for road trip. Me and yes, my family. Yes, we round round yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yes, <laughs> round round <laughs> Sarawak. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So wh where do you think you would recommend people to go and, you know, visit in Sarawak? Okay, because um, I don't really travel a lot, so I miss my kampung lah. My kampung, kampung the most, which is um, um, my dad's punya kampung. It's a it's a longest longhouse in Malaysia. I don't know if you heard of it. So it's located in um, Belaga actually. Oh, in Belaga. Yeah, okay. in Belaga. Yes. So it's it's called Ulu Sungai Asap Belaga. Yes, but my kampung is called Umabelun Diodian. Yeah. So Diodian. so in Ulu Sungai Asap, you have few Uma means rumah lah. Yes, Uma yeah, Umar's rumah. Mm. So you have the Umabelun which is my yes. kampung and then there is like Uma Bangko, Uma Baha, mm, Uma yes. Daro, yeah. like like that. So my kampung is well known as the hundred ten doors. And if people ask me where to go in Sarawak mm. or in Malaysia, I would say you know you can go to if you want to experience longhouse yes. and you, you want to know how the culture is in Sarawak, then I will say come to my kampung, mm. Uma Belun Leon. Because they can really <laughs> go visit that place. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to go now yeah. actually because yeah. um, our home, I mean. Our longhouse, we have a homestay. Mm. See, so we have a very nice place for you to stay. You don't have to worry. It's like a chalet as well. Yeah. <laughs> you, you have water as well. Yeah. as well. Yes. So you will have people bringing you around. You'll mm. see, you know, all these um, old women with the long ears and the mm. tattoo will do bead works. And then you can go around Belanda area, you know, the Bakun there. Yes, yes. So how we shift is Bakun them too, you know, mm. the, the Sungai. Yes, yeah. Bawah tu actually mm. is my kampung dulu dulu. Oh, before we move before to, you move. yeah, before we move right. to Ulu Sungai, so okay. our kampung is actually dekat bawah oh. tu. And then atas tu is all the air. Yeah, kan? yeah, if you use the boat or you use like cruise, like mm. now they have cruise. Yes, yeah, they do. So they do that. Yeah. So if you pakai the cruise, you will see ranting ranting kayu. Meaning to say, it's very deep down there. Mm. Yeah, because the tree wow. is so tall. It so is. when we see like when when we on the on the cruise when we are on pakai the boat. Yeah. We, we went through and we were like, eh, why only ranting kayu? Huh? Only the branches of yeah. the trees. Mm. And then they said, oh, because it's very deep. Then we were like, meaning to say, you know, it's very deep down there. Yeah, yeah. So our kampung is just down there. We don't know where. So. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it's really so the, the government shifted us from um, Belaga there mm. to Ulu Sungai Asap area. That's why. And that's when we started our own long house. Yeah. Yeah. And then it became the longest long yeah. house. Yeah. So we have few people also visit uh, my kampong, mm. actually, Sheikh Musafa. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, the first astronaut. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he came as well to visit. Yeah, yeah. but he enjoyed himself. Yeah, a couple <laughs> of years ago. Yeah, yeah. Because they would have all the barbecue. Yeah. Yes, yes, right? yes, yes, and that's how like I think people really can experience mm -hmm. with the culture, with the people yes, here yes, when yeah. they go and deep, dive deep. Yeah, into, right? true. Oh, so, true. so yeah, you get to know the culture, you get to know the people, yeah. and then you have, you know, few places to visit. Mm. So yeah. time to balik kampung lah now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, you talk a lot about being real mm -hmm. to oneself. Yeah, how, do you find it difficult to walk the talk, not only in a pageantry world, but in everyday life? It's not something that everyone can do. Like what my national director said, Elaine Daly, mm. she said, the title is not just for a year, it's for a lifetime. Yes. But you must always remember that how you carry yourself is not just when you're a, the Miss Universe mm. Malaysia. It's after that you need to be the same person. So you cannot like okay, one year I'm a queen, I show everything, <laughs> like, wow, you know. Yeah, it's true. And after that, like, after one year, I show my true self, yeah. and then people are like, oh, it's very fake. Yeah, you see. No, I so, agree. Yeah. yeah. So you don't you don't want that to mm. be that way. So mm. whatever I post on my social media, there will always be a little essence of me in there. Mm. Of course, I you need that. to yeah, you need to portray you know the best side of, of Malaysia because you're representing yes. Malaysia right now. Yeah, it's only you're yourself, not just but... yeah, I'm not just representing myself. Yes, yeah, so um, I would say that whatever you do in life, if you, even if you succeed, you must always remember your roots, yeah. like how you started the journey yeah. since you were little. You must always reminiscing that moment, yes, like yeah. how you actually 
go through that stepping stone, mm. You know, it's like a it's a constant reminder. Yeah, so that we are reminder. always in check, you know, in our yeah. path. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Especially, I feel insecurities does creep in. Yeah, you yeah. know, when when we go on, we, we want to be this, mm. we want to be authentic, yeah. but there are always insecurities. I feel yeah. because of the world that we're in. Like yeah. for example, in the beauty industry, it's always the stereotypic beauty of slim and tall, True. you know, and like in the social media world where there's always commentaries mm -hmm. you know I, I i think that does you know make someone feel very like they doubt themselves but yeah. to be honest like sometimes for me i also feel that and you know that could potentially lead to someone actually having depression as well yeah, you yeah. Know? anxiety yes yeah, yeah. yeah so i think it's, it's quite important mm -hmm. that you know we always like you said we remind ourselves you know always go back to our room mm -hmm. that's how we stay in check yeah, right yeah, true Hmm, that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it is that why you wanted to do and start women right to help the women? Because Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we do I think women are quite low self esteem mm -hmm. at times. We do feel more insecure, you know, of how we look yeah, and yeah. like that. Well, I mean, if you guys really followed my journey, so my advocacy, I mean, I advocate for women empowerment mm. through Women Rise. Yeah. So I started the page. Actually, I never thought of starting a page. Yeah. It's more of something like a movement. It's more of a movement that I want to build among the women here mm. in Sarawak. Yeah. And then when I joined Miss Universe Malaysia, they asked me, what, what would you advocate for? And then my friend reminded me, Fran, you have been into, you know, all this women empowerment since 2016, 18. I'm like, yeah. Then let's do that. So I'm like, okay, let's do that. So so that's that's how Women Rise started off. Yeah. yeah. That's incredible. So it's more of like my personal um life now. Mm -hmm. You know, like how I said in high school I wasn't um the it girl, mm -hmm. you see. But then, you know, after I joined pageant, I told myself, like, it's so nice to see all the women in pageant. Of course, we compete with each other. Yes. That's normal. It's a competition yes. anyway. <laughs> but, then, but then you're in a group of girls and everyone is like, hey, you look great. You did very well in your speech. And then she will go on stage and she will do better you see so it fits so it's more of like you're empowering each, each other, other. Yeah. and it's not like yeah. you know where you guys are always just on a battle yeah, but yeah. that's a but, but then you will tell each other like hey you did so well i just know oh my gosh i'm so nervous but from there you know that oh they recognize you they yes. know that you have done well you don't see that you know so i was in all girls school so i understand mm. how it feels to be in a group of girls yes. but you don't empower or you don't feel empowered because it's always sometimes you feel either intimidated yeah yeah you, know? you just don't want them to feel like oh i'm, I'm trying to be you know stepping over yeah, them yeah, yeah, and things like that, that. Yeah. but um i would say that women rise is not just mm. focusing on women you know it's yeah. more of like women empowering lives yeah so that's the purpose of it and that's yeah yeah, yeah. so um what we try to do is we try to empower other people around us yeah. to feel good about themselves because instead of women you know putting each other, other down, down yeah. right and like we empower each other and right. see what are they capable of right you yeah. know so you see like how um issues going around the mm -hmm. world and you see like feminicides still happen yeah. in turkey to be honest yeah. everywhere actually yeah. it still happens yeah true yeah. yeah and then you see like you know how people say oh Viviana mm. in Sabah. Mm. So you see things like people say, oh, she's a girl. You know, some some medicine think like, oh, she's a girl. She can just stay at home. You know, she mm. don't have, she don't need the, 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 the kind of education that everyone needs. You know, you still see this see kind that. of comments. And it's really sad. Yeah, it's really when, sad. You know, when the 21st yeah. century has... And we're still, we still have that mentality. Mm. So we want to change that mentality, right. you yes. know, where women have the rights to have proper education. Right. Yes. By the end of the day, it's the only way education is the only way where you can get into um, how to say like different it's where a uh, different area yeah, different different open doors yeah for you it's well. an open doors for you yes. so i'm not saying like yes, you know that you need to be a doctor or what yeah, you know, no, like I, that, yeah. yes i think it's like, like i can you imagine it's important to aim high right yeah, yeah. to have education but most importantly is the passion yeah. and actually knowing where what, what you want to be who yes, you want to exactly, be yeah. and going back to what we always say be authentic yeah. you know and also that's the, education is the only way you yes. need to finish your school you know? <laughs> yes, school I, agree. So yeah. I agree i know last yeah. time oh i didn't want to finish my school <laughs> but yeah. it's always very important too yeah. yes and i think i'm so grateful i think that we have our teachers we have our yeah. leaders that actually guide us to yeah they actually guide you and all you know so yes. so we so we need people to understand you know the empowering lives is very important yes. and, and i, I love that about how you said about remember this 
it's not so much of just about empowering women, yeah. but it's empowering the people. Yeah. And it's, it, it includes men as well, yeah, like true. together yeah. about that women's able to do something. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's really good. <laughs> you know, speaking of empowering, so we actually do this, we empower people here as well. So like, it's called SUP. It's one of our initiatives. Oh, uh, yeah. It stands for Stirring Up Borneo. So I'm part of it. Yes, right? yeah. you were. So I'm so thankful for that. Yeah, yeah. And because you were stirring the community in the beauty and pageantry world. And it's amazing because by through your, you know, motto where you say trusting your own path mm -hmm. and also being authentic through, uh, throughout. Yeah. You know, that, that really stirs the community. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I joined Stirring Up Borneo. Right. <laughs> and a lot of people ask me what is it mm. so when people ask me yeah, actually people DM me and ask me how can I be part of it so I'm like okay go to Stirring Up Borneo and tell them you know how can you be part of it participate in what ways you know but you know Stirring Up Borneo is more of like a community thing right it is, where it everyone is. just share their stories Correct. their experience you yes. know and it's just you know stirring up it's what to stir the people, people yeah, right? to, stir the people. to be kind you know to be genuine Gener yeah yes. genuine yeah and also how can you give back to the community correct yeah you, know, you can always do like any kinds of work and you just hashtag stirring up yes. yeah because we're all about empower mm -hmm. uplift and give back to people from all communities yeah. in Sarawak. It's not just one side, but everywhere. Yeah. yeah. You know, Sarawak in every parts of the world. Yes, so. agreed. It's not just like in Sarawak, but like in Malaysia, Malaysia, you're in yeah, San Andro, in or you're in UK, or yes, you're in Indonesia. Everywhere. Yeah, you can always like just share your experience as, mm. as a mm. Borneo, you know, and how you stir up, you know, community yes, wise. Yeah. And, all. Yeah. and if like other countries need help, you know, that's where we come in and really join yeah. hands together. Because I think that's what oh, all that's about nice. community yeah, yeah. is all about, right? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Zach, can you pass me her surprise? <laughs> Oh, so Yay. sweet! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay, this is for you. All right. This is quite it. a quite a big pack. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you know. Yeah. Can I open I it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I just yeah. open it up. Yeah. <laughs> this is so sweet. Oh. Oh, so nice! This is one of my. Oh my gosh! And I just like I remember you, said like I love the bag over there. And I'm like, oh yes, I go right. Like, oh, and it's and pink color. Yes, because that's your color now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is so yeah. beautiful, Chante. So and it's all hand weave, uh, but if you see the patterns, very unique. Yeah. Oh, you even got some patterns. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love this. Yeah. I love this so much. Smart sellers, guys. Yeah. Clean, right? Always. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I love this. You know that lama. Can you see the inside? Let me show you. There is a lining. Oh my There's gosh! Lining. Yeah. And the best part is you can detach it. Oh my god! And you can wash it because normally it's all about cleanliness, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take out uh -huh. and then wash it. I, I can even use it as without. a dress oh, Yes, yeah, you can without. as well. Wow. With or without. Thank you so this much, Ashley. Okay, yeah. What can I have? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> much. Yeah. And the sewing, we're uh -huh. actually supporting also um, single mothers. Oh, yes. single mothers. My like single you mothers. see, women can yes. do, do a lot of anything. things, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we even add on, like, every part, we uh -huh. have different. So, like, this, 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 tote bag uh -huh. is we're actually supporting people from Ulu Baram and Ulu Lipa oh, District. Yes. Nice. And then the lining, we actually just do it um, below. Oh, you can oh, yeah. that later. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can even see we even add on beads uh -huh. from oh, yeah, Lama. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this Lama is from, yeah, yeah, the beads. Yeah, the yeah. beads, ceramic beads. Oh, gosh, so, so, <laughs> this is like a dust bag. You can keep your bag yeah, yeah. when you go out but they think out. Or like, you, know, Thank you. Yeah. you are amazing. You are amazing you are too. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. So there's all these kind of things that we do in sub. And of course, did you see a mat? Yeah. Yes, yes. It's actually hand hand so beautiful. Yeah. This is hand weave by four ladies. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it's so big, right? So this is what we do in sub. Mm -hmm. Through sub, we want to actually um, support them and then have sustainable fair trade yeah, income yeah, for them yeah, as well to the, for their livelihood. Yeah. This is so nice. Yeah. So I see a lot of friends and <laughs> yeah. you know, all these handmade yeah. you know products. It's really good, you know, especially in conjunction with you know what happened right now. 
because of COVID-19. Mm. So, you know, economic growth, also we it, have problems. Correct. So right now, you know, we supposed to, this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to support local. Yes. We have to support, support local, local support brands. Local, yeah. You know, everyone that is, you know, trying to survive. Yeah, 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 yeah right? true. So, you know, right now, you know, everywhere in, in Malaysia, every country, yeah. even in Malaysia, you mm. know, support local hashtag is... You know, very good, yes, very, very true. good. So you know, you give me this. You know, I can just like tell people. You know, you can also purchase from them, yeah. right? Like, like where, where? Yes. If people want to purchase, it's like where, oh, where can they? We go? actually have an online store set up. Oh, we have in Borneo Talk. In Borneo Talk okay, website, okay, yeah, they yeah. can just go there and yeah. even buy it there. So I just say IG. like this is by the the Ulu community. Yeah, Ulu community. From Barang, and then we have that's like Lima. one thing about Sub. It's all about the people. Yeah. And you know, like a portion of it, mm -hmm. we always give back to more communities. Yeah. So one yeah. of the longhouse in Kuching yeah, yeah. actually uh, had um, a fire, a massive fire. Oh yes, yes. I so saw we that. actually use part of the proceeds because of the support of the people purchasing our our products. Mm -hmm. They actually with this money we bought food, we bought oh, rice, and we all the basic necessities. Correct. Yeah. Correct. And we actually send it to them. Yeah. So this is really all about the community and the community did everything. Nothing to do with me, nothing to do, you know, it's actually a team effort. Yeah, 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 that's really nice. You see, everyone can work as a team. Yes, <laughs> empower each other. Right. You're empowering lives. Yes. So thank you so much for this. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna use it later. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so glad you like. Have another interview after this. So I think I'm gonna flaunt this because I'm wearing <laughs> something pink and dark as Ooh, well today. Yeah, yeah, it will so match. Nice. That's really great. Yeah, so I really appreciate it. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for your time, yeah. friend. And all the best. You know, thank I, you so much. I can't wait to see more of your movement, more of what you can achieve. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for watching the Borneo Talk Show. I'll see you next time. <laughs>